Hey everybody, it's Mad Attack, no effect more Pokemon Ruby. Um, well, in the last part we got to Lily Cove City and uh, checked out stuff like that. And I didn't get Dodoo off camera because I did an optional part. I don't know if I'm going to release this before or after, I don't know. It really depends what's going on. So I did do a Safari Zone kind of tutorial thing and got the Dodoo I was looking for. It didn't even take that long, I'd say about three minutes or so. Um, not even, I bet it was, uh, didn't take too long to locate, uh, like I said, the optional part was showing where I found it, if you wanted to do it, like, uh, like I said, the stats are good, I showed that in the optional part, um, so I'm going to keep it up front, it's, you know, it has the runaway ability, so, it, you know, if you run into repels by any chance, it's pretty good, like, the Pokemon is slightly faster than it, but I got a repel on right now, anyways, on that bridge, we saw Team Magma go down here and said something, so we're going to want to go down here, and we're also going to go down here afterward because there's some trainer fights and stuff there to stock up Dodo. And one thing I didn't check out actually is if Dodo could learn Flux. I never said I was going to do that. Well, yes. Alright, just, just check this out because I'm not sure if Dodo. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, he can. Okay. That's nice. So I can get rid of Swell. Finally! I can get Swell. You probably barely hear that because I felt myself speaking quieter when I did that. So that's probably why I make those weird voices like that. I just right, this is Mount Pyre. Yeah, we're gonna go up here later too. Like I might just include all that stuff in post game and stuff like that. Cause I don't know, I, I'm kind of lazy right now. I, don't, I feel like progressing with plot because Team Mega just feels so urgent to go with the plot. There's a whole bunch of trainers and stuff up there, so like we're gonna go ahead and do that. There's like TM Shadow Ball and stuff you can get out there, which is pretty nice. So it'll be part of our like pre post game run. Pre Elite Four run is what I meant to say. Now the wild program up here a little different. The music is awesome to turn it up just for that. Yes, beauty. Alright, we got an item. I think this is skill swap. Yeah, skill swap. That's a great move. But it's more of a double battle move than anything. If you can find like I thought this was my beautiful strategy to give it to slacking, but I forgot I didn't really realize slacking could learn it. I thought it was one of those moves that like anyone could learn. But I don't really care about the magic. Anyways, you know, there's a lot of these things here. A lot of these gold statue things. Thing with jiggies. They have a, uh, items in it. Like this one's got an ultra ball. I believe one there towards like a sink or something. But uh, one thing you're going to notice on the uh, wild Pokemon is that you can find Chimekos here. That's awesome. Because Chimekos are cool. And when you go in here, this is an area you can find Chimekos in. There's some grass. we got some Chimekma. Chimekma. I'll show you exactly how scary Team Magma can be. Not too scary from our last visits to them, but I guess if this guy wants to beg to differ, he can beg to differ. Alright, now Zubat. Traditional. Alright, let's use Tride Sap. Yeah, look at that, we're faster than a Zubat. Already showing your awesomeness, Dojo. That's a b Holy crap, nice job. See, this is why it's my favorite. Well, not my favorite Pokemon yet, but. Why Dodrio is my favorite one? Like, look at that. So many people love Firo, and I don't know why. Or, I, not Firo even. So many people love Pidgeot. Firo is better than Pidgeot, I think Dodrio is even better than Firo at that. that. Dodrio is kind of outdated now, though, because of the. Uh, so I think, I, I think Dodrio is better than Swellow still, but I think Staraptor kind of kicks ass in that department. I still, I, I still pick a Dodrio over at any day just because it's my favorite. Always will be. Oh, we will be. Then you just sound like I said, always will be that second time. But we got this guy's got a whole bunch of Zubats. It's kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. Alright, so if you are haven't playing Pokemon Emerald, I'm just going to put this note out now. If you haven't played Pokemon Emerald along with me and you've kind of been avoiding little differences and just doing it on your own because you've played the game before, this, if you haven't played Pokemon Emerald, this is where the game is going to completely change from. from uh, one of Sapphire. After this point, it's really going to change. You're going to actually go through an extra dungeon because that hideout that there is, that's Team Aqua's hideout, and they actually added a Team Magma's hideout somewhere else in Pwn. I should have pointed that out where that was actually just in this game, just for kicks. And actually, I can turn this music down a little bit now because the awesome music's kind of gone and now it's just blaring. Yeah, yeah, so. You probably couldn't hear my commentary <laughs> for the last two minutes, ten minutes ago. I actually didn't turn up that much, but that much. 
can you, uh, you didn't even see my fingers at all. Why am I doing hand motions and you can't even see them? But I was saying, like, that little bit too much can affect so many people in the end. Every time I do hand motions and I, like, go back down to click the A button, I always move the camera. I should stop doing hand motions, even though I'm doing them right now. You probably can't hear me because I'm moving back to the camera. Take down. All right, Jim, we can handle that. Ha uh ha, -huh, never mind. And we probably have no revives. I probably should have just. Oh, never mind. I said I was going to use, like. Whoa! Does it just mean your Delucci is no longer the highest level on our team? I didn't even notice that. Aww, oh, poor Delucci. He hasn't grown a level in probably like 10, 15 parts. <laughs> feel bad. Actually, the last level the time he probably grew up a level was uh, and when we were doing that huge uh, tour along the sea. Um, but yeah, dang too strong. Dang too strong. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this looks like the last trainer before we get that top. Who's that so top of there? Is it the boss? Boss time. Is it the boss? I don't even know who would be a team member of boss. I don't, I don't think Maxi was a very fitting name. He fits his, uh, his character, but... I just don't think his character should have looked like that personally, but I don't know. He did make Team Magma more awesome than Team Aqua, like, during the anime, but I don't really like the anime. First se first two or three seasons was good, and then, I don't know. It didn't get aired enough. Like, it used to get aired, like, daily, and then it was, like, every Saturday. I don't know. Really, because, well, my cable network didn't come with the Cartoon Network, so... I would just see it every Saturday, a new episode of Saturday on uh, YTP. Yes, I'm Canadian. Proud to be Canadian, as Jay Onrick would say. And if you don't know who Jay Onrick is, he does the morning show on TSN Sports Center. I love that show, my favorite show ever. Morning show, Sports Center. Whoa! Speaking of Maxi, not you again. You impeded our plans repeated. But this time, you're too late. Wow. The blue orb that rested atop the Empire. I, Max, you claim it is mine. Why, 80 year old men and women couldn't stop you? <laughs> Finally, I can realize my grand design. Come on, crew, it's Slate Point, yes. Slate Point? Hmm. Oh, this cannot happen. How could he take away the blue orb? Is it because I was defenseless and just let him take it? The blue orb and red orb shall never be separated. They belong together. You take the remaining red orb. Please take it after that foul man and get the other one back. We get the red one for some reason, like, just like hands it to us, thinking we're the hero. We could, you know, even be. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know if these were too. But, um, I would end this part off here, but that'd be kind of short. So I'm gonna see you guys over at Slate Watching. No, it's sure fly. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, even a dead person can fly. Yeah. Alright. Slate Point, here we come. Alright, and we're gonna heal up because they are back. How about that? Uh, there's some people crowding around here. What's going on here? Hmm, hmm, hmm. What do you have to say? A TV interview here! The captain's a celebrity! Hmm. Captain Stern says they discovered something in the bottom of the sea. I remember this is. What could it be? What's going on here? Did the captain come back with a big fish from the ocean floor? Hey, are you watching? Yeah, I'm watching the TV. I'm right here, you dumbass. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at this. That's why I need an actual camcorder, guys. Hey, are you watching TV? Oh, yeah, I don't know that. Alright, what do you have to say? Okay, I'm gonna say, same guys that interview us, try to interview us. Anyways, okay, Captain Sarah, and a big smile for the camera. I see, I see. You've had the whole thing valuable experience. Experience. And this. Yeah, whatever. So let's talk to Captain Stern. Yes, indeed. We intend to move ahead with our exploration. It's wonderful name is Captain Stern. Thank you for taking the time for your to talk to us. There will be an interview again. Some time interview. And then walk away. Captain Stern's relieved because interviews sir, suck. Media sucks. So my first time you film on TV, I was nerve-wracking. I was saying you were looking great. We made a huge discovery in our last C4, the little C4 expedition. We found an underwater cavern on the world 28. We think it's a habit of a Pokemon that said they've been long and some thing. Hey, 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 Captain Storm, I presume. We of Team Magma will assume control of your submarine. 
Your objections are meaningless. We expect your total cooperation. <laughs> Just watch and learn what Team Magma has planned. Well, who is that? Hmm. What was that all about? It sounded like something using a megaphone. Where did it come from? <gasps> it's from the harbor. The submarine! They're trying to take it! Shoot me, please come with me! It's Max again. I commiserate with you. All that effort you spent following me all the way here from the vampire. But now, no one can stop us. No one. Or will you follow us back to our island in Lico City? And they just plop into the water. That's a good spot to end it right here, right? Max, I go say goodbye. See you guys later. With a big cliffhanger. Why? Why would they do this?